All right, we're going to get into this project here where we'll be using Ableton Live and also Google's Music Effects to generate some ideas to make some uh, drum beats and be able to manipulate those and move those around. Uh, let's go ahead and start by starting with a new project here in Ableton. And this is uh, dealing with uh, we know as generative AI, and we are here at uh, AI uh, Test Kitchen, Google's uh, Music Effects, using text-based uh, prompt to create a drum beat. Start uh, getting ideas, generating ideas for a drum beat um, with just some descriptors here. So I use the words house, drum beat, and BPM of 120. So style or genre music, what it is is a drum beat, and then specifying a BPM. Uh, I stay away from certain things like words that may generate some kind of pitch. Um, like I tried chiptune and it actually used a pitch in there or I used 808, it confused that and, and used it as a bass line. So I try to keep it real simple to genre, drum beat, and BPM. And then when I generated it, Um, in the settings, you know that we can download more than 30 seconds, but I'm just going to keep it in 30 seconds because that actually equates to uh, 16 bars. Uh, so once we get that figured out, and if you like that, so you could try other styles, uh, other BPMs, and then we download it. So then we open up a new project in Ableton, leave it on session view, and I'm just going to pull this right into an audio track here. Open it up down here in clip view. As you can see, it's 16 bars long. So first thing we're gonna do is zoom in. Um, there's a, always a little bit of a glitch at the very beginning to, s and I don't know why that is, um, but we're going to go ahead and find where the actual beginning beat is. So we'll take a listen and trust our ear. And I can hear that right there is going to be our first downbeat. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. We can feel that out. It might take a little bit of practice to do that. So I know that this is it right here. Now it already has one of these warp markers on here. It's default to uh, go to warp, but just make sure that it is selected for warp. It is a drum beat, so we'll leave the algorithm set to beats. Keep it real simple. Um, so again, this is that warp marker. We're going to do a double click on that. We are then going to right click onto that. We're going to set uh, bar one right there. And then we're also going to um, go to uh, set uh, warp from here. Okay. So you see everything kind of moves over. The audio file moves over. Let's go and turn our metronome on. It, continues to go back to 128 so we can of course change that because it is warped <laughs> 120 is what I originally had put in the into uh, music effects so that's good uh, let's also move the bracket this is the beginning here and let's just be real simple. We'll go and move these brackets over to just two full measures. And that's the default set to loop again. And turn our metronome off, we're good now. Now we're gonna do to be able to manipulate that and change the actual drum rack is we're going to, in the clip view down here, we're going to right click. We're going to then convert drums to new MIDI track generate it here it is over here I'll go and turn this track off so we can just hear this by itself now what you can hear is that it has picked up a couple um, extra snare drums not a problem we'll need to get in there and kind of just 
know what our basic house beat sounds like or looks like I should say I don't want that snare there so you can go and delete that one it's got extra snare here too kind of like that extra snare there. that's kind of cool so we'll leave that um, and then lastly for this project we are going to change our drums uh, I don't know what it gave us originally um, let's see looks like a 606 kit I don't know the kick 606 I don't know why that is but uh, we're going for house I don't know maybe I go for like more 90 style so I go to 909 kit I'll go to drums click on 909 and then drop that one onto our MIDI right at the top and there we have a AI generated drum beat that we can now manipulate and move around we can add subtract different uh, MIDI notes hi-hat different uh, toms or whatever you want we can change that tempo and very uh, uh, adaptable to what we want to do and this is a great way to just get an idea started kind of flesh out an idea and from here we can develop more ideas for uh, to build on with the baseline or harmony or a melody as well.